Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. This is the second part of multi-part mini video series on how to configure multi-site Active Directory infrastructure with Windows Server 2022. In the first part, we have prepared our test lab in Oracle VM VirtualBox. We have total 4 Windows Server 2022 VMs running in VirtualBox. Currently, our test lab look like this. All VMs can communicate successfully with each other. Our test lab is now ready for multi-site Active Directory infrastructure deployment. Let's go to Surat Root DC SRT22 DC01 VM. In this video, we will first create an Active Directory site and then deploy an additional domain controller. It is also possible to deploy an additional domain controller prior to creating an Active Directory site and then move the ADC to the corresponding site. We will first create a new Active Directory site and subnet for the Surat head office location. Then we will deploy an additional domain controller in Surat head office. On the SAW manager, click on tools and select Active Directory sites and services. Maximize the window, expand sites. We can see the default Active Directory site with the name default first site name. Expand default first site name and expand servers. Our domain controller SRT22 DC01 is visible. The first step when implementing a multi site infrastructure is renaming the default site or create a new AD site. It depends on your scenario and requirements. But here I want to create a new Active Directory site. Right click sites and select new site. Type in the name of the new Active Directory site. I have given name Surat Ajo. To create a new AD site, you must select the associated site link. A site link is used to manage the logical flow of replication between physical sites. The default site link is called default IP site link and it gets created when Active Directory is first installed in a forest. Active Directory sites are manually linked to each other using site links. We will select default IP site link for our Active Directory site. Click the OK button to create a new Active Directory site. The new Active Directory site has been created successfully. Click OK. Now that Surat HO site has been created, a subnet that specifies the site boundaries has to be created as well. In our lab setup, the Surat Network subnet is 172.18.72.0/22. Right-click Subnets and select New Subnet. In Prefix, type the IP version 4 subnet prefix, which is 172.18.72.0/22. Select a site for this subnet. In our example, select Surat HO site and click OK. We have now created a new subnet associated with the Surat HO Active Directory site. If you have multiple subnets in your Active Directory site, you can link them to a single Active Directory site. Once you have created a new Active Directory site and subnet, you can start moving your domain controllers to the new site. Our root DC is currently in the default Active Directory site. We want to move that DC to the Surat HO site. Let's right-click on our domain controller and select Move. Select Surat HO Active Directory site and click OK. Expand Surat HO site, expand servers and here we can see our domain controller SRT22 DC01. We have successfully moved the SRT22 DC01 to Surat HO site. Right-click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type command nl test slash dsreg dns and hit enter key to force a domain controller to re-register all its DNS records. The command completed successfully. 
Our next step is to deploy an additional domain controller in Surat HO site to provide fault tolerance and load balancing. Let's go to SRT22-DC02 VM. Already we have configured IP addressing on this server in the last video. IP address assigned to this server is 172.18.72.52. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type ping msftwebcast.com and hit Enter key. Here, msftwebcast.com is our local Active Directory domain name. We can see we have ping to msftwebcast.com domain name, but we are getting reply back from the IP address 172.18.72.51. We can confirm that our server 2022 is able to resolve the DNS name to IP address and also able to communicate with our local domain controller. Let's install Active Directory Domain Services on this server. Type cmdelete install hyphen windows feature hyphen name ad hyphen domain hyphen services hyphen include management tools. Hit enter key to run the command. This command installs the ADDS server role and also installs the ADDS and ADLDS server administration tools on this server. Keep in mind, there is no reboot required for installing AD domain services on Windows Server 2022. The installation of the ADDS service has been completed. Go back to Server Manager dashboard, refresh the dashboard and you will see a yellow notification icon. Click on yellow notification icon. Click the link labeled Promote this server to a domain controller. The Active Directory Domain Services Configuration Wizard starts with the Deployment Configuration page. Make sure Add a Domain Controller to an Existing Domain option is selected. Since this server is not joined to the existing domain, you will need to click the Change button to enter in Domain Administrator credentials. Click on Change. Type in Domain Administrator's username which is administrator at msftwebcast.com. Now type in administrator's password and click OK. Since we have single domain AD Forest, the domain name will be filled automatically. In our case, msftwebcast.com is the name of our existing domain. Click Next to continue. On the Domain Controller Options page, options to make this domain controller, a DNS server and a global catalog server are selected by default. The Surat HO site is selected automatically. The Active Directory will put this DC into Surat HO site. Active Directory knows this because we have created the IP subnet associated to the Surat site. This is based on the IP address of this server and the subnet 172.18.72.0/22, which we created earlier for Surat HO site. Enter a password for the Directory Services Restored mode. DSRM allows an administrator to repair or recover an Active Directory database. After providing DSRM password, click Next. Since a DNS server role is being configured, you will be warned that a delegation for this DNS server cannot be created. This can be safely ignored. Click Next. On Additional Options page, Choose where you want your DC to replicate from. Active Directory can replicate from any domain controller or a specific one. The replication depends on how you installed the first DC and where it is located. If the DCs are all in the same site, then replicate from any will work. In this example, we want it to be able to replicate from any domain controller. Click Next. On the Paths page, Confirm the location for ADDS database files, log files and syswall. You can either use the default location or select another folder of your choice. We will keep it to default. Click Next. Review your selections in the next screen and click Next. Windows will then perform a prerequisites check 
and inform us that whether we can promote this server as an additional domain controller in our existing Active Directory domain or not. Once it is done successfully, click Install to begin the installation. The wizard proceeds to promote this server to be an additional domain controller in our existing Active Directory domain. The installation takes a few moments to complete and progress is listed on the operation results box. The server was successfully configured as a domain controller and now server will restart automatically to complete the installation process. After reboot, sign into the server computer using the domain administrator's account. The server is now successfully added as an additional domain controller in our existing Active Directory domain. On Server Manager, click on Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers. Expand the domain name and click on Domain Controllers OU. Verify that the both domain controllers are listed. We can also confirm that both DCs are in the same Active Directory site, which is Surat Acho. We need to configure the DNS servers correctly on the both domain controllers. The preferred DNS server should always point to the other domain controller and the alternate DNS server must point to its own IP address or the loopback address. Open Run menu, type ncpa.cpl and hit enter key. Right click the Ethernet adapter and select properties. Double click on IPv4. Preferred DNS server's address is 172.18.72.51. This is the IP address of SRT22-DC01 and alternate DNS server's address is 127.0.0.1 means loopback address. So there is no need to change anything on this server. Click OK. Again click OK and close network connections. Go to SRT22-DC01 domain controller. Type command ncba.cpl and hit enter key to open network connections window. Right click on Ethernet adapter and select properties. Double click IPv4. Here in preferred DNS server's address, I'm going to specify the IP address 172.18.72.52. And in alternate DNS server's address, I'm going to specify the loopback IP address. Click OK. Again click OK and close Network Connections console. Next, we want to check the status of Active Directory replication between these two domain controllers. Go back to Active Directory Sites and Services. Click on Refresh. Expand SRT22-DC01 and click on NTDS Settings. Right click NTDS Settings, All Tasks and check Replication Topology. Click OK, right click and select a Refresh. Right click on automatically generated replication link from DC02 to DC01 and select Replicate Now. We get the confirmation message that ADDS has replicated this connection. Click OK. We want to check the same for DC02. Expand SRT22-DC02 and click on NTDS Settings. Right click Enter DS Settings, All Task, and click on Check Replication Topology. Click OK. Right click and select Refresh. Right click on Automatically Generated Replication Link from DC01 to DC02 and select Replicate Now. We get the confirmation message that ADDS has replicated the connections. Click OK. So we can confirm that both domain controllers can replicate with each other successfully. Go back to Windows PowerShell. Type command wrap admin slash wrapper summary and press enter key to see the output of this command. Okay, so command is wrap admin slash wrapper summary. Hit enter key. As we can see, there were no errors during the replications. We can run the same command on DC02 server as well. Go back to SRT22-DC02, right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. Type cmdelete wrap admin slash sync all and hit enter key. Now type cmdelete 
wrap admin slash wrapper summary and press enter key. Just like DC01, we don't have any error on DC02 as well. In our case, Active Directory replication will be faster because both domain controllers are located in the same Active Directory site. This is known as an intra-site replication. By default, any domain controller will aware of any directory update within 15 seconds. Within site, despite the number of domain controllers, any directory update will be replicate in the less than one minute. In the next video, we will create AD site and subnet for Delhi location. We will use Insert from Media Data to deploy an additional domain controller in Delhi site. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.